everyone and welcome back to my channel this is part two of my mini series about dental specialties today I will be going to endodontics and we will be doing um, root canals I think on a bicuspid maybe I don't know we'll see when we get there but um, we've been doing root canals basically for the past like four or five weeks so it's nothing new it's just doing it on different teeth now so I'll take you guys along with me per usual and I hope you guys learn a lot if you have any questions then leave them down below if you haven't watched part one I suggest you watch that one after you finish this video so I'm really all over the place right now like really all over the place I forgot that I had already kind of started this um, project this is what it looks like right here and so I have to get all of this checked off and turn it in it's not really a due date for this class <laughs> with any of these projects but I'm gonna try to finish it Aperture and I'm gonna put this inside of the canal. Now that that's done, I'm gonna go take an x ray to make sure that it was accurate. together and then coat it with this and then put it inside the tube. It has two canals, so you have to do the same thing to the other canal. These are the accessory cones right here. And I'm gonna put as many as I can in here as well as coat them with the gutta percha as well.
Okay. So, I've gotten this many cones, accessory cones in here. And I'm gonna go take an x-ray just to make sure I don't need to put any more in. And then after that, I'm going to seal it off. All right, so here's what the radiographs came out looking like. So what I'm gonna go do now is to sear it off with this. And basically all you do for this is it's, it's heated. So once I press this button, it heats up the tip and I'm going to sear off the coronal portion of the gutta percha and all the accessory cones. Then I'm gonna push it down and pack it down in so there's no voids, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully, so there's no voids in this. Now that I've done this, I'm gonna go take a radiograph to make sure I don't have any voids. Okay, so this is what it ended up looking like and um, this isn't supposed to be here at all, but it's because when I accessed it, I went too far, let me find it. I went too far down here as you can see. So when I packed the gutta perch in, it just filled in that space right there. But I'm done with this one. See the hole? <laughs> but the more you do this, the better you get. So I'm not tripping. Alright everyone, so that pretty much wraps up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this video took place probably like four different sessions. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but I finally finished the project and um, I messed up a little bit, but I wanted to keep those clips in there to show you guys that like everything isn't always perfect and it's okay. You learn from your mistakes and everything that you do when you do make a mistake. So yeah that's all for this video and that's also all for my mini series i didn't get to record as much um as i wanted to due to covid we actually our school actually got shut down um for like a few days and so that impeded on like other projects that i wanted to record so this concludes like my little mini series that i was trying to do for you guys but Thank you guys so much for watching and if you like this video don't forget to press the like button and also subscribe to my channel.